Hello, I'm Lou Tarx and welcome to part 7 of my Ghoul campaign on Rome Total War. So here we are at the moment and we're in a, an alright position. There is certainly improvements to be made however, as you can see, uh, in Syracuse straight away. So we've got a lot to do and let's have a look at the situation over in Lugden first. So I don't there's a lot more we can do this turn, remembering back from last episode. There are several priorities. First of all, we've been trying to draw this army towards Alessia. Which might sound odd, but it does have a decent sized garrison, it's alright, it will need improving. But it was more to isolate Lugdunum, which only has, I think, three garrison, two garrison in it. So, yep, yeah, something to consider there. And this army of yes. Fasuchius is heading northwards. There's no good mercenaries available. The economic situation is very, very bad at the moment, as you can see. We've been kicked off Spain, but to be honest, I'm not too bothered about that. We can live with the fact that we are without Spain at the moment. So, I would like to recruit in Alessia, just one more, because I am worried about this army coming over, potentially. Uh, Alessia is... You see, we could move troops over from here, which is an idea, but then there is this huge British army, really is huge, hanging around. I'm going to move. Let's see how quickly we can move all of these warband over. It would still take two turns, and the Germanians could get there to Alessia in one turn, I believe. Yes, well, they could. So, seems a little bit pointless to do that. I mean, at least bring the cavalry over, because the, ca the cavalry can't even get over. So, okay, we can't really move troops to Alessia. We need to recruit there. So, we'll just see if we can whip up enough money to do so. Patavium has the plague, which isn't good either. So, they're building there. Could cancel that. Aramina and Aretium aren't recruiting at all. Yeah, the monetary situation is poor. We're not doing any recruiting, we're not doing any building because we literally have run out of money, which is why we need to take some more settlements, essentially. Look to them being the start of that. Okay, what are they building here? Meeting hall. That is quite good. Massilia, they're building stockade. Well, if anything, it's the Narbo Martius needs to remove its meeting hall. Just so we have enough money to recruit in Alessia which we shall do straight away with a war band. I think that'll be, be the right idea. And then over here, Syracuse is in a bit of a mess. Now, do we go for... There's this one Carthaginian unit here, which is nothing. But I believe that Lily Bime has a relatively strong force in it, yeah. So, I don't know really if we want to go for Lily Bime. And especially as Croton looks very isolated. Two Principes and a General, which is still decent. It's still very, very decent. Hmm. Trentum is looking strong. And then Capua is looking decent. Okay. Well, I, I would like to secure Sicily. So maybe an attack on the Carthaginians would be optimal. But first of all, let's get some happiness in Syracuse. Possibly a Sacred Grove of, Grove of Essus would be a good idea to start off with. But I would like to recruit. Now we're retraining, aren't we? We should be retraining, but we're not. So let's retrain these three. Recruit. We can't recruit anymore. Okay. Yeah, the, the money situation is really bad. Just retrain those three for the moment. I'll consider building a Sacred Grove. But I think they're a lot happier now. They should be happier. Now we might bump up the tax rate in some places. Because we need the money, so bumping up in Masana. Growth isn't a huge issue anymore, now we've started to get access to better troops, which is good at least. So we're going to bump up the tax rate, a lot of them are on low tax rates for morale purposes. Batavium, I won't raise it too much, it has got the plague after all. Raise it by one though. Mm, no, actually that was a bad idea. Okay. Any other happy settlements? Because you're not going to be happy anymore, I've given you a tax raise. Okay, it's going to go around doing this, and then we will end the turn. I think, I'm not sure what's going to happen next, as, as in what are the other armies going to do. That Germanian force could possibly attack Alessia. But Alessia is in a, it's in a decent position, but to be honest, it could be in a lot better position. I'm slightly worried for Alessia. Uh, so yeah, that is something I need to consider. Okay, well I think this is all I can do for this turn, just check Carolus. Okay, Carolus could do with a tax height hike rather so they can go on to a high tax rate possibly very high very high let's do it okay and then as for see I'd like to take Palmer at some point 
especially he's got no garrisons, that is something I'd like to do, but that can go later on. Okay, so we'll end the turn, see what happens. We have this force in Masana, I hope. Or did they move to Syracuse? Okay, they sort of split up into two, didn't they? You see, I would like to retrain... I would like to retrain these guys as well, but I don't think we can do that really. How much would that cost? 213 denarii, we just haven't got the money. I suppose I could cancel the retraining of this war band because it's less useful. That is more useful to be retrained. Those swordsmen, probably. Okay, so I will end the turn and let's see what happens. Alright, so, okay, we've immediately been attacked by Bruchai Navy. Now, I believe that none of these have got men on them, at least, so if we get a defeat, it's not too bad. Well, we are going to get a defeat, yeah, definitely. Okay, but our navy is crumbling, which is uh, not good, of course. And then, just to compound that, it looks like it's going to be another defeat, yep. Okay, really need to work on our naval force, yeah, that, uh, that's going to go completely destroyed. The Carthaginians are starting to get a strong navy, which is annoying. Okay, he didn't go for Aletti, that's really good, really, really good. Right, let's see what's happening. So, end of turn report. That's going to be Plague in Batavium, yep. Uh, construction, recruitment, and... Uh, okay, so... The Seleucids want peace. It doesn't really have anything to do with us, so that's fine. We've got a bit of money, but to be honest, not enough. Not good, really. So, have a look at this situation. I'd like to get his diplomat over. He's going to act as a spy, essentially, because we haven't got anything else. Can't see what the garrison is, but it's quite a large garrison, so... It depends. It depends what I want to do. First of all, Lugdunum is priority. Now this army is so far in the distance, Sutius, even though he hasn't got a particularly strong army, needs to go for Lugdunum. We need to take this town down. So, three rams to be built. Two rams to be built, rather. And that siege will be maintained. Next turn, Lugdunum will be ours. Providing there's no German armies that are just going to spring out of nowhere. Which I don't believe will be the case. As for, so yeah, this is fine. Don't want to build too much on Alessia, but that army is a little bit concerning. So we'll, we'll see how much money we have by the end of the turn. Now, Croton. Obviously, I want to take Croton. They have added some cavalry auxilia, which isn't ideal. Trentum. I'm not, I'm not even going to go for Trentum. Problem is, if I go for Croton, these armies are going to come down straight away, surely. Plus, we haven't got a naval force to take them to Croton even now. So, first of all... There's a ship here, which I can't see, but it's there. Is this our force? Oh, that's Macedonian Navy. Okay. Wow, the Seleucid Navy is all the way over here. You don't even see the Seleucid Navy a lot. That's a testament to how bad their faction is. So, I am looking at Lily Byam and thinking that is possibly where we go next, because we've got a decent force. If you combine the two forces of Masana and Syracuse, it's a force that beat the Romans twice outside of Masana and in Syracuse once. We could... See, I don't like fighting in the cities, but possibly we could besiege Lily Byam and draw this army in and then fight outside the city. That would be quite good. It sort of depends what they've got, but I can't see because I haven't got any spies around here, which is my own stupid fault. So... Do we take Lily Byam? Um, let's see what kind of army I can muster up. And we'll assess the situation from there. So first of all, Meridoc can come here. No mercenaries available, which is a shame. He can be joined by the sword, well, the archers, the swordsmen, basically all these guys. I'm not bothered about those. I don't know what they were, those skirmishes that were there. Peltas, the Illyrians, Peltas, yeah. And then for Syracuse, it can be joined hoplites, two cavalry units, and three. Stronger warband, would that make Syracuse really unhappy? It would. And they're already on a low tax rate. Syracuse is, yeah, not the happiest place. Misana's on a high tax rate, so there's no surprise they're unhappy. We'll lower that, and they should be over. Nope. Right, they're okay enough not to riot. It's not exactly saying a lot, though, is it? So. Mm. And then Syracuse is really unhappy with that. And would this force even be strong enough to take the Carthaginians on anyway? I think it would be. I think it would be. Um, I'm just possibly wondering if we should wait one more turn and see. 
I'm gonna move Mary Doc here. Anyway, no mercenaries available, which is a shame. Might as well just build a watch. No, we haven't got a lot of money. Think about it. I haven't got a lot of money. He's not going to be joined by these guys yet because I don't want Masan to be too unhappy. Hopefully, just General. moving one of these units back in will just make them not riot. Move one more back in. Splitting the troops. <laughs> Move one more back in. I'm not too bothered about the hoplites the either this time. Leaving the army. Okay, so these te two cavalry units can join Mary Doc. It's not a huge strong army. I think it's, is that nine units? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lily Byam has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus a 19 unit here, so it's 9 against 9 units. Our units are slightly battered, and I'm not sure what their units are. I wonder if you go and actually talk to the Carthaginians, whether you can you can see more of what they've got inside. I mean, I'm just off the map information, doesn't really matter. Oh, they've accepted it anyway. Okay. So, can we now see? We can't see. Even though the diplomat has gone inside Lily Byam, he cannot see what's in there still. Which, obviously, we need a spy, it's just obvious, but I just haven't ever got one, so, yeah, that's probably my own fault. But I think I think we can go over to Li uh, Lily Byam. I think we're strong enough. Hopefully, there'll be mercenaries over here. Sarakin's got a decent force in it. Wait, it says up to yellow happiness now because the hot plights have joined, wasn't it? So, I could bring war bands, but no, I need to be a bit more decisive. We won't bring the war band, we'll bring the slingers just because why not? And then these guys can go and attack Lily by them. It'll take two turns or so, but whatever. Okay, so that's the situation over in Sicily. We're not going to go for Croton quite yet, but we need to start recruiting. And we need some money. That's obvious though. So, there it looks like there's a Brutia army outside Patavium. It's decent strong, decent, decent strength. We've got a lot stronger force. It's annoying we have to have all these troops huddled up in Patavium, but it's too much of a threat from the Brutii, who keep coming over here. And the reason they keep coming over from over here is because they're at peace with Macedon for some reason. So they keep attacking Patavium, which is really annoying. But this, this force is strong enough to keep out this force, not the force of Captain Herius, however. So we'll just have to hope. We'll just have to hope, yeah. That's pretty much all I can do. I mean, that's a Brutii diplomat. There's not even any... Yeah, there's not even any good diplomats over here. Okay. There's a there's a Germanian army here. Oh, yeah, Captain Elric. We've, I think we might have fought him before and lost. Which is annoying. Again, all these towns are basically ungarrisoned. We are, we are in a tough situation. No mercenaries available. Yeah, we're in a very, very tough situation at the moment. We've... Possibly overextended? I don't know. If we take a look to them, hopefully that army will be drawn back towards that area, which is good at least. As for the British army up here, still chilling. Awaiting your command. And we're still at war with them. I mean, I'll offer them ceasefire. And they'll decline it, I presume. No, yeah, yeah they'll decline it. Okay. Right. We have 2,000 denarii, and I want to spend it. Which sounds stupid, because I'm complaining about the lack of money we have, but we need to spend it. Firstly... I'm worried about public order, but I'm more worried about this army being defeated by the Carthaginians. So, in which case, I want to recruit some of these nice barbarian noble cavalry. Really like those, they're good. They were really good last episode anyway. And I would quite like some Forester Warbands, but they are expensive. They are expensive indeed. Whereas Chosen Swordsman might be a better use of the money, it seems more. Yeah, okay, we'll do that for the moment. We might cancel that. As for these areas, so... We need to start recruiting up here in northern Italy. Let's start off with... Oh, I don't want to recruit in Tarvin, it's got the plague. <laughs> so, Aretium can recruit. And Aretium can recruit a swordsman. Why not? Now we have 467 Tanari. Okay, that's fine. Looking around, seeing what needs troops possibly Alessia I'm not too worried about in which case what can Araminum recruit Araminum can recruit, I tell you what they can recruit a swordsman so they can have the swordsman, Aretium you can recruit the boat, no you can't quite see your 60 denarii down ok we can find 60 denarii somewhere ok this Gaelic navy is screwed just, just 
try and get around to his Carolus, I don't know. Yeah, that gate. Actually, if that navy could just hang around there, we could possibly see Lily buy him a bit better in a couple of turns. Because it's got nothing else to do. So, we still have... Okay, we need, we need to find 60 denarii out somewhere, don't we? Anything that can be knocked down, any troop that... Let's have a quick look. I don't want to knock down any buildings. That's a bit of a stupid idea, to be honest. But you see, we need a naval force. Really, we need a port. Uh, Syracuse can have a navy. Okay. Okay, they need to recruit that cavalry. That's the thing. We need that cavalry, especially especially for the next fight. So we'll we'll leave the navy for a moment. Then we'll start recruiting navy from here. After the next turn, hopefully, when the army starts to move for towards Lily Byam. That's all we can do for the moment. Next turn, hopefully, we'll take Lugdunum and advance towards Lily Byam. Okay, just before we end the turn, do you know what? I want to get rid of this Brutia army because it's hanging nearby and we've got this massive army out here. So let's take out Aldus Brutus. Blimey, even though he has much, uh, way less men, he still seems to have an advantage. Okay. What I do, I'm going to keep this army out here. I don't want the besieging Patavium. I'd rather fight him out in the open field. I'll just leave. I'll just leave. Um, wait, where's the army gone? Right, the army's gone Patavium. Get the army out here. Into this area. But let's put the war... The war band can't go back into... Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, that army's stuck out there now. Fine. Right, we'll end the turn and we'll move them back into Patavium next turn. So, Brutai moving around. Ah, they've been attacked. And what the... Okay, that just said that Patavium is now Brutai City. Because we moved all our force out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so, this is the situation. We've, we've moved our force out of Patavium. And they've taken it, because I accidentally moved the whole army out. But, Captain Harris has attacked us, and to be honest, his army doesn't look too strong. It's made out of mainly of town watch. There's a couple of units I'm concerned about. Cretan archers are good, hoplites are good, and Hastati are good. The rest of it's quite poor, so I reckon we can take this. Yeah, I'm ready for a fight. Let's see how this goes. Right, so here we are. It's a slightly foggy day. We've been attacked, which means we can play a little bit defensively. We have a severe lack of cavalry... Yeah, that's basically it. So, I'm going to leave this war band. They're, they are more of a liability as we've seen in the past. So let's have the front line of swordsmen first. And that can be quite a wide front line. I like having a nice wide front line with these guys. That's... Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. So that's good. Now, the Samnite mercenaries are good at fighting cavalry. So, they can go out on the flank here. I, yeah, they'll just be out on the flank, and then these war bands can just come here. I don't know; they they can back up these guys. I'm not particularly bothered about them. And then the cavalry here and here because they're going to be flanking. So it's not a particularly deep line, unless we decide to move. That's still not particularly deep. It's not a very deep line at all. It's wide and shallow, but that's how I'm going to play it today. Okay, yeah, this. I mean, look, this might look a weird formation, but I think it might work. We can always make it more compact if we look at their army and think that that needs to be the case. So, let's start the battle. Okay, so we are wider than them, which I think is good. We can encircle them, that means. And we'll just let them move forward. And this might take a little bit of time. But they certainly have some weaknesses. Uh, they, they have weaknesses in the amount of town watch that they have. The Chosen Swordsmen are far superior, even though there's only 66 because some of them are a bit battered. They're, they're still superior, so that's, that's my opinion. But they have, do their, they have some decent units, Hoplites, Cretans, and Hastati, so we'll need to worry about them a little bit. So, these cavalry are going to move around the flank and hopefully destroy those Hoplites. And these warband can hopefully soak up the, the, the spears of the Hoplites. They can get in the way, and then they can be bait, and then the cavalry will flank them, and then attack the rear. We'll let them get a little bit closer and we might just charge at them. 
which is what I quite like to do. Oh, the, the, yeah, this army doesn't have any cavalry, so this army, like, mercenaries... Oh, no, the only cavalry they have is the general, isn't it? I think they have a general. Okay. It doesn't have a lot of cavalry, though, so Samnites aren't particularly useful in this case. So they are slowly, slowly approaching. The Hoplites are beginning to put their spears down. Okay, so the Hoplites... I don't want the swordsmen getting involved in the Hoplites. I want the warband getting involved just because they're going to die anyway. They might as well actually be useful. So, okay, let's charge. So, you guys and them... You guys and them, I reckon we can cause a rout with these town watch very, very quickly. We're going to go all for the town watch. In fact, you two can both go for those Hastati. Get two on one with Hastati. You on that town watch. They're Hastati. Let's get two on you. And you guys can charge those town watch. And you guys get around the side and you can go around those town watch. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, Warband, you go for the Hastati. You go around there. Okay, I don't know how well this is going, because I'm focusing on these hoplites quickly. But we should have the upper hand here. They do have more soldiers, though. I don't know how well that worked. The hoplites seem to be doing a good job. Okay, they've routed. Good. Those guys have routed instantly. So, you two. Where are the Hastati? Get around to them. Don't even worry about those town watch. Okay, nice. Three units have routed around here. Excellent. So, you guys, onto those town watch. Those Hastati are still fighting. So you guys get round here and onto those Hastati. You guys there. This cavalry is out in the middle of nowhere, so you know what, just chase down those town watch. Excellent. They still have their general, I believe, though, so the battle is certainly not over yet. Okay, this cavalry needs to be fighting the... I'm surprised those warbanners still up against those uh, those Hastati. That's quite interesting. Okay, these cavalry are getting a little bit battered by these hoplites, but the hoplites are going down very quickly. Those Brutii have collapsed, which is nice. We have Illyrian mercenaries not particularly strong. All these guys are collapsing. This has gone exceptionally well. So you guys beat those guys down. The swordsman is still fighting these Hastati. You can chase the Cretans down because the Cretans are good. Chase down as many as possible. Chase down as many. This is just a matter of chasing down. And maybe they didn't have a general. Maybe they were a captain. I didn't actually look beforehand, which I should have done. So, yeah, every one of these Illyrians now because... Oh, no, there's still some Hastati here. So you guys get an Hastati and you guys get on these Hastati as well. See if we can get them to route. And once an Hastati route... Come on, run over to those Hastati. That's it. How are those lights doing? Still relatively strong. So, as those guys have routed, get into those hoplites. We have took a few losses here. Mostly because of those hoplites. And the hoplites have collapsed. That's fine. Okay, go for these guys now. Oh no, that's our own men. <laughs> well. Right, pause. I want you to go up there as quickly as possible. Get as many people as you can. You can chase these guys. You two can chase them. I don't know, you can chase them. This is a matter of killing as many Romans as we can now. Before they will run away essentially because I don't think there are many left what are these guys oh there's 25 town watch there charging to those guys I reckon 20 okay those guys have routed so hoping that these town watch to route there are still some Cretan archers left yeah the Cretans done pretty well the warlord of the enemy army is running like a maybe these guys can just take the Cretans okay those town watch are dead so these horses can go for the Cretans. Hopefully they reach about the same time and the Cretans will be absolutely screwed after that. And then there's a lot of Romans that still escaped. But we've certainly done better here. We'll fast forward this. Yep, yeah, those Cretans have already been annihilated. And the end of the battle... Oh, no, there's still some guys here. Who are they? Oh, what's going on up there? What is going on up there? Okay, they are still... Those Illyrian mercenaries done pretty well. And their mercenaries as well. Quite impressed with that. All of these guys on the Illyrians. Quickly. Yeah, the Illyrians are gone. That charge was good. Okay, some of them have recovered. Some of the Romans have recovered in their credit. Illyrians... That's the Illyrians. It's not even the Romans. So the Barbarian Cavalry get into those Illyrians. You guys, just all onto the Illyrians. In fact... Get around here for a second. 
All on to the Illyrians, we should be fine. Unless they're running away. The swordsmen charge. So they do seem to be running away, but they're not routing. Because the, the, the flashing flag isn't showing up. Still, we are stronger than these guys. I mean, I don't mind particularly if we don't kill them. I just want to make sure they don't kill any more of my guys, essentially. And yeah, we've got victory. We'll continue the battle. Like Hunt them as many Hunt down, them down as possible. Slay them all. Yeah, so we, we got a few deaths there. In fact, nearly half our army was gone. But... We did clear out that strong Roman force which I was worried about. And this force can now go over and retake Batavium. It's slightly odd. I might, what I might do is besiege it, wait for it to not have plague anymore, and then take it. That would be quite a good idea. So it's definitely a clear victory. We had less men, but they, they did have inferior men. And we got had nearly a thousand kills. So that was quite good. That was a good victory indeed. So as I said, yeah, what we're going to do, besiege Batavium. Hopefully it... The plague goes in a couple of turns, and then we can take it pretty easily. That's the plan, anyway. Provided nothing wrong happens. Carolus is being talked to by the Scipii. The Carthaginians have all gone into Lily Biome. I'm not sure how the Brutii got Batavium. Did they bribe them? That's the only thing I can think of, because they definitely didn't take it by force. Enemy army routes, we know this. End of turn report, death stalks of land. Well, you shouldn't have given me that message, because Batavium's not ours. Unless another settlement's got it. Plague that is, I'm not sure. Okay, so I, I don't know what happened with Batavium. I think it got bribed. But the garrison's only one unit of Hastati. So yeah, as I said, we'll besiege it. But we won't take it. Unless we could do for the money, that's the only thing. Um, we'll wait. Hopefully it just has had plague for quite a while now. Hopefully it stops. Now, Carthage. Carthage, Carthage, Carthage. First of all, Meridoc, are there any mercenaries available? Uh, any Peltasts? Probably rather not. Bring those cavalry forward. Those cavalry can get there. Slightly isolated, but they'll, they'll do fine. So, Meridoc can reachily buy him just. First of all, let's see what mercenaries are available. And it's still only Peltasts. Okay, that's fine. You can bes no, we, they, for some reason they can't quite get to Lilybyum this turn. In which case, we might as well join up with this force and take Lilybyum next turn. And hopefully there'll be some better mercenaries available. But that's a decent force. I reckon that force is strong enough to take Lilybyum. I'm wondering if anyone can just join them, like those chosen swordsmen, possibly. Okay, those those chosen swordsmen can head towards Lilybyum. Hopefully those two armies will meet. In fact. You can try and join this army next turn. So that's quite good. So I have another unit as well. I know these two cities aren't happy, but they won't riot at least, which is good. Now, Lugdunum. This should be relatively simple. Two units. We have, I don't know, about eight units. Maybe not quite that much, but it's definitely a victory. Yeah, definitely a victory. I don't think I'll bother to actually play this one because it's... It would just be a waste of time, as I've mentioned before. Uh, yeah, so we'll auto-resolve it, and it's a clear victory. We've got a few losses, that's the penalty of auto-resolving, of course. So, Lugdunum is ours, finally. And we won't exterminate them, we'll enslave them. That's quite good, because they're, they're already relatively happy, so that's fine. Retinue expands. Slave trader. Increases the rate of population growth in regions where slaves are plentiful. Okay, then. That's not very nice, but whatever. So, normal tax rate. Put it up to very high tax rate as they're so happy, which is good. Okay, so, Lugdunum is now ours, which is which is nice. It's, we're starting to look a bit more like France, rather than just a sort of bit of a mess. I don't want to take the war f to Germany, really, to be honest. If anything, these soldiers need to move up towards Alessia, because I'm worried about him. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Right, so let's have a look at the army here. We have these guys, and it's not a particularly strong army anyway, to be honest. So, I don't want to leave it in Lugdunum, though. It seems like a bit of a waste it being there in Lugdunum. So we'll take you, you. We'll move some of those warband together. Uh, like so. He can stay. So we'll have you two. Just you two. 
and you can move towards the north of Italy because that's where there is trouble at the moment. Didn't really want you to go down that route, but as you're there, you can build a watchtower. And we can see a little bit more of what's going on. So, blessing in disguise possibly, and the mercenaries are going to be terrible, yep, as usual. So, that's that. Now, as for Britain, it's still there. Really annoying because I want to move this. There's a big army here in this settlement, but I can't move it down because Britain will just take it. Thankfully, there's a warlord's hold finally available here, which is nice. But I might have to hit her down because we might need forces elsewhere. Now, Aretian attack train needs to be moved down. And we won't bother recruiting there. I want to recruit naval forces near Sicily though, so Syracuse, you can get a boat. I don't think you can quite afford it, it's 540 denarii, okay. We'll find money somewhere. Now, Massilia is unhappy, low the tax rate. We need to start building shrines and stuff, but as I said, money's not been exactly plentiful. Patarvin we could take very soon if we wanted, if we desperately need the money at least, which is good. Is there anywhere that is recruiting which doesn't need to be, or building? Lemon and there's not really many places that are recruiting. This place is unhappy, Wrens, so we'll move the tax rate down slightly. Uh, now, where's Lugatorix? Because I think he's still at Carolus, you know. Lugatorix is still yes. at Carolus, such a waste of a fine general. He's only still 35 years old, so he's not even that young either. I mean, sorry, he's not even that old either, so he's being a bit wasted. Lord? Just wondering what mercenaries are available. Waiting to ambush. Ah, oh, it's just Peltast. Yeah, Lugatorix really needs to get off Carolus, but I haven't been able to get a boat over. Oh, well, there is a boat. But I don't want to risk... I don't particularly want to risk him on that boat, because if the boat sinks, then he's dead. So I won't do that. Yes, Instead, I'll send... I was going to send that boat over to Libyan, but I'm not going to now. I'm just going to have a suicide march with it. Good job I didn't take Lugatorix to Libyan, because, yeah, he would have died. So that's quite good. Now, I want to see a bit more of this area. That's for sure. So a spy would be useful. We do need more spies. I don't even know. Can this town even recruit spies? Which towns can recruit spies up here? Not very many by the looks of things. Alessia pop can't. Only a diplomat. What about Segesta? Segesta's terrible at the moment. It really is. Right, there's a spy hit. Recruit a spy. And I still want to recruit a boat, so we need to... Rummage up 400 denarii out of somewhere. Somewhere that is recruiting or building, it would seem. Now, I did build that warlord's hold in up here, and I don't know how. I don't know how much is needed. I mean, I'd like better walls, but let's let's get a boat. We need a we need a naval force more. So boats here. We still have 362 denarii. Masana can possibly recruit. No, skirmisher warlord's not worth it. Let's have a look. Aretium. Can they recruit? They could recruit some barbarian cavalry. Which is better than nothing, I suppose. I'm, I'm slightly worried about these settlements, the lack of troops they have. And so Gesta, I would like... What's that, a muster field? No, that's not worth it. i tell you what, let's get rid of this shrine, first of all, because I don't want to have the Roman culture there. That's given us a bit of money, which is good. That's nice, so 495 denarii now. Okay, we need more forces up here in Aretium. So let's recruit a swordsman because of that. And now we only have 81 coins, or denarii rather. And I think that's all we can do. I'm pretty sure that is all we can do. So next turn, hopefully we'll reach, well we will le reach Lilibyum. Hopefully we'll be able to take or besiege it and then take it the following turn. And then possibly take Patavium as well and start consolidating the force to move down Italy because obviously the Romans are our greatest threat so let's see how that goes okay okay we've been attacked where is this Captain Sinan oh this is in Tarvin isn't it Aldus Brutus again this force is big it's not actually that good if you look at it Barbarian Mercenaries Welites Equites Hoplites I mean it's decent and then Captain Valerius, I don't know what he has, but it's not going to be a lot. But we have a lot of, we have a depleted army. If this was full strength, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's do this. But I need to, I need to, con to contemplate this because they have 
nearly double the amount of men we do. I'm going to back off purely because this army is a little bit weak. So we'll back Fall off. Back. He's gone over back. and he's attacked Our us. Moves. Hasn't he? Yep. Alright then, well, we'll have to fight them. We'll have to fight them. I don't want to. But this army needs to be removed at some point anyway. Ah, this is not gonna this is gonna be incredibly difficult. If I win this, I'll be very proud of myself because this is not gonna be any it's not gonna be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Alright, let's see what happens. So start deployment. We're in the snow, which benefits us. Now we could hide in the trees. I, I don't really like it. I just think it's more of a nuisance than anything. So let's just get out here in this open plain. Okay. Same battle lines normal. The swordsman. I should have moved the swordsman into bigger units. That was stupid of me. Instead I left them in these small units. But okay. Cavalry. This cavalry is weak. Very, very weak. But we'll move them both to the same side because I don't think they're going to be able to do much. The warband and the Samnites can cover the other flank here. Oh god, this isn't going to end well. Okay, is that all? That is all we've got. Um, what, I don't even know what that battle line is. It's terrible, but it's going to have to do. Okay, it's going to be a loss, I think. But we will wait for the Broodchide to come over. The Hoplite seems to be in the middle, which is unusual. They tend to like the Hoplites on the flank, like last time. And even if we can beat their infantry, which I'll be surprised at, the... General will just absolutely annihilate everyone, I'm pretty sure. Unless he miraculously dies early on. So they're advancing forward through the trees. Yeah, they have some weak units, but not weak enough. Unless... Yep, yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay. Right, they're charging at us. Oh, I'll say that. They're walking towards us. The front line is barbarian mercenaries, which is good, at least. They're, just, they're weak units. What's that? That's cavalry mercenaries. That's equites. Okay. We'll let them get a little bit closer. Right, now, now. Right. Oh, no, they're moving slightly. Let's see what happens. Okay, those, those mercenaries have dropped back. That's fine. I don't know why our battle line's at that angle, but whatever. These two on the barbarians. You two on these barbarians. You two on these barbarians. If we can get a route of those three units, we're in a better situation. It's not great, but it's better. You swordsmen. What are these? Town watch. There's barbarian mercenaries there. Would those guys just stay there for a second. Now, wish I'd had the Samnites over this side to deal with those cavalry, but that's not the case. So, these two... I'll tell you what, rather... These two cavalry just move over here and possibly isolate those other cavalry. Their cavalry. Try and get them on a running match. Okay, now charge. you have to charge into that cavalry. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Okay, get out there. Get out there. Right, now we need to see what else is going on. These three units aren't been doing anything. And those guys have already routed. That's pretty much the end of everything. I don't know how they already routed. Bring those guys in. Oh no, they're all... Okay, those town watch charged. Yeah, this isn't going to end well. I didn't expect it to. Our army's way, way inferior. Yeah, those, they've goes, those guys have broken as well. This isn't going to end well. Well, I tried my best. There wasn't, there wasn't a lot I could do. We'll just have to take Potavium some other time. Really, it's just a matter of building a force to take Potavium. But yeah, I'll just fast forward this. It's not going to end well. And everyone's routed. Okay, that's fair enough. Hopefully just some of the guys can get away. At least we're near the edge of the map, so when they retreat, we'll be able to keep some of the swordsmen, but the vast majority are dead. We didn't do too badly, but I couldn't really expect any more. So, that's okay, but there is now a strong force outside, or in Patavium, really, essentially. So yeah, we're going to have to build up an army to take that. And it's Mediolanum that has plague, by the way. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. So nothing else seems to be happening much. Say that, I spoke too soon. The Spanish have attacked Narbo Martius. Flipping hell. Okay, we have far too many enemies. It's ridiculous. So they've been besieged.
Plague, Recruitment, and War Declared, Parthia, and Scythia. Okay, that'll be up here somewhere. <sighs> right, we have a lot of enemies. It's ridiculous. But this is the pain of playing as Gaul. So this force, and it's big, is taking Narbo Martius, or trying to take Narbo Martius. There's three warband in here. Now we do have this army in Lugdunum. Alessia. Okay, we have a force. Oh, flipping hell. Okay, we need to move this force down. And that force down means that all these three forces need to move and take these, pretty much. So, you guys all come over here. Go there first. Unless he's not happy, but we'll rectify that in a second. These three forces come down here. Massilia. I mean, that's just pretty pathetic, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Massilia can recruit in a second. So, Lucho, you're obviously going to go down and attack the Spanish. That's going to take three turns at least. Now, you can attack the Spanish. There's not a lot of point. You might as well wait for Lucho to come down. So, I don't know why I took you out of Lugdunum. Alright. So, load attacks right in Lugdunum. No, we're gonna have to remove. Okay, we're gonna have to lower it quite a bit over here. Alessia, lower the tax rate. It can't be lowered any further. <sighs> Let's get you two. No, okay, that's not gonna work either. All right, we will recruit a warband. Alessia's just gonna have to cope with things for the moment. I know life's not good for them. You can have the tax rate lowered. That's fine. Not by too much though. Massilia needs to recruit like mad, just so we have something to take on those Spanish. And obviously, Narbo Martius needs to recruit like mad, but they can only recruit war bands. So that's not good. Has Lemnum got any forces? I don't think it has. Skirmishers? That's not even worth it. Not even worth it. Yet, yeah, we shouldn't have got into war with the Spanish. The whole situation in humanity was a bit of a mistake. In fact, if we had a diplomat somewhere, I'd like to sue for peace. That's what I've wanted to do for a long time with a lot of factions, but I just haven't got around to it. So, let's let's focus on Carthage. Orders. Or Carthaginians. Mercenaries available. Hoplites. I can never really turn down Hoplites. I do like my Hoplites. So we'll get those guys. That was possibly stupid because now we'd have a lack of money, but you know what? Sometimes these things have to happen. Build the rams. Three rams can be built in one turn, which is good. And Lily put the hat, though. Quite a strong garrison. I think, I think a naval force might have brought some people over. So good job I actually did buy those hoplites. And you can join Meridoc here. Yes. So we have a decent sized army. So do they. Masana's not happy. So we'll move some troops from Syracuse over to Masana. Until they're happier. Yeah. And now Syracuse are unhappy. So. You can have a swordsman. And now we've run out of money. Sick. Instead actually I'd rather have a boat. So, we need about 60 more denarii to get a boat. Oh, we are in a mess. We are in a big, big mess. Because there are a lot of people attacking us. Batavium's not ours anymore. In fact, what forces in Batavium? Only two garrison, but we know that big army's around somewhere. Yes. Move out. Yeah, this, this is a big, yes. big old mess. Forward. But there you go. So yeah, the money the money's a massive situation at the moment. It's a real problem. And I'm trying to think of a way we can get money quick. But I'm struggling on that front. So I wonder what diplomats we have around. Maybe we could just get some money in that way. Let's have a look. So list scroll. Agents. What diplomats do we have? We have four. Surely one of them will be near someone who can give us some money. You're over here. Oh, the Romans aren't going to give us any money. Uh, not even any point getting peace off the Romans, really. And it's certainly they certainly won't accept money for it. They're in a better situation than we are. So ignore that diplomat. In fact, if anything, he can move up north somewhere. Unless that diplomat's good. Okay, he's a Greek diplomat. He might be able to give us some money. So, how about... We've already got trade rights to them. We will offer them map information. <laughs> oh, flipping out. I mean, do we want an alliance with the Greeks? There's not really much point. We were at war with them not that long ago, I think. 
we'll, we'll, uh, we'll offer them, and then we'll, I'd like a single payment of a thousand. I mean, that's quite a lot to ask just for map information, and I don't think they'll accept this, but I'm desperate. Their offers, we will give 210 denarii for map information. I like it a little bit higher. Okay, I accidentally accepted it. Fine, we have t about 300 more denarii. It's better than nothing. And then move the stick from out from north. And hopefully you can find some better people. Okay, we got a little bit of money out of that. Just drop offering map information, which is good at least. Not going to be people we're enemies with. Okay, so that was that agent. This agent here is near... Oh, yeah, the guy near the British. Well, he's not going to be able to offer anything. And he could just move this way to try and find some other people. And there isn't anyone, of course. Fine, so that's him out of the picture. Next agent is in Spain. Well, Carthaginians aren't going to accept any money. We're at war with them. So, again, his position there is a bit useless. But the only good thing is, once we've taken Lily by him, hopefully, then he can sue for peace. So that's the only good thing about him being there. And then the final agent, I'm not sure where he is. He's in Lugdunum. No, nope, that's, a, that's a spy. He's in Sicily. Of course he is. And yeah, he's completely useless. I don't know why he's there. Because there's no one to offer... Oh, no one to get money from. So that was all the money we could get. But we have got 700 denarii now, which is a bit better. It means we can recruit someone somewhere. I'm thinking not Medulanum, Araminum, maybe just recruit a... Uh, no. How much for a swordsman? Okay, there aren't enough people in Araminum, that's why. I was going to say, that's a bit weird. A Retium, we could recruit a swordsman, but then we won't be able to recruit a boat over there. Over in Sicily, rather. So, the boat isn't priority. Let's get that swordsman done. Okay, 294 denarii. I don't even think there's any construction we could build for that amount, you know. Because if there was like a farm I could get for that or something, but I literally don't think there is anything. Segesta can't build anything. Good anyway. Various shrines and stuff. Yeah, okay. We're in a difficult situation. We'll save that 294 Zanari. Might need it next turn. By next turn, we're going to take Lily Byam. I'm praying that we are able to take it. In fact, I've just noticed that army's there. Oh, flipping hell. Okay. Okay, so, I've just noticed there's a Carthaginian army here, which is good in the sense that we could eliminate two birds with one stone, but not good in the sense that they're probably going to attack us, and they have this strong force here, and they have that strong force there. Right, we'll end the turn, see what they do, we might have to back off from Lily Byam and go somewhere else. We'll have to see. Right, let's see what happens. Might be in an almighty fight with the Carthaginians, possibly. Yep, I suspected this. We'll see how it is. Okay, so, relatively even. Captain, I'm not going to try and say that. Poor cavalry unit. Very small amount of elephants. Two other cavalry units and Iberian, Iberian infantry are pretty decent. And then this guy. More Iberian infantry. So their infantry is good. Well, I say good. It's about the same as ours, probably. That's not good. That's really not good. It reckons it's relatively even, but I really question that. In fact, I think it's slightly in our favour. But I, I just don't understand that. Iberian infantry is okay, isn't it? Seven and eight. Whereas our... Well, the Chosen Swordsmen are... Oh, we can't see. But I'm just... Well. Well, well, well. Do we do this? That is the question. Well, we can try. You know what? I'll give it a go. The, the game reckons we have a slight advantage. I question that, but let's let's try and prove myself wrong. Let's do this. Right, it's a nice day. And immediately, uh, I was going to say immediately, I noticed this massive rock, but sadly, it's just just out of the range of the map, which is a shame. Yeah, that is a shame. So, trying to think of where the forces are coming from. The force that attacked us was a force outside the city, and that was obviously from this direction over here. If that's the case, that was from the south, I believe. And they were... The city's in the west. So if that's south, west should be that direction, right? Is that 
possibly the city? That looks like the city in the distance, doesn't it? Let's have a look over this hill. Yeah, that looks like the city, so in which case, the forces are going to come from here and there. Real shame that rock is out of the... Oh, that would be so good. Okay, no, we can't focus on that now. Because, yeah, that's the boundary of the battle. Literally just a matter of metres away, but anyway. Alright, so we'll, f we'll go here. We'll play relatively defensive, but then we'll wall charge at some point, so that's fine. Infantry is these guys. Lined up nice and wide as usual. That is quite wide, but it'll be fine. Hoplites can go here, possibly. I don't know. The slingers can go here. Might be a bit of friendly fire, hopefully not. Now we have some good cavalry. We have these guys are good. Bring them along here. And these guys are good as well. We have a general, which we'll keep at the back. We don't want him to die. And then we have these guys. We'll just put them along here somewhere. That looks like all we've got. No, there is something over there. What is that? Oh, the archers. Okay, so the slingers can go here. Oh, that's a bit too close. They're going to really do some friendly fire. Then the archers can just go... I don't know, here-ish? Okay, let's just have them a little bit less wide. And then have the archers there. Both of them need to be off skirmish mode. I don't like them skirmishing, but they can fire at will. Start the battle. Big force over there, big force over here. Let's bring these guys, put them into formation, and set them up like that. We're going to play relatively aggressive because I realised I don't want that big force over there to fight at the same time as these guys. We eliminate those guys, taking out those guys will be a bit easier at least. So move them close to the Carthaginians, we'll speed this up slightly even if it does lag because of it. Okay, they're charging. Right. Oh, no, they're not. They're about to charge. What have they got here? Round shield cavalry. Oh, right, so you guys can just go straight into the cavalry. Why not? With your phalanx. Come on, infantry. Hurry up. Right. They've been a bit slow, but whatever. Iberians. Get on the Iberians. All of you guys get on the Iberians. Oh, no. Right, you. Right. I want the... Missile troops to focus on the elephants, that would be nice. Just get the elephants out of the picture. And then round shield cavalry can be dealt with by swordsmen. By that's cavalry. By swordsmen. And then these cavalry can flank or something. And then chosen swordsmen. So let's do that. What are these? That's cavalry as well, isn't it? So yeah, those cavalry aren't interested in charging into hoplites, which I don't blame them for. Get this cavalry around here. Okay, those guys are broken already. Great. Keep an eye on that army over there, by the way. Right. Those cavalry are fleeing. I'm just trying to think. Maybe all the elephants. I tell you what, I'd rather these guys not fire. Because that's, that's the army they need to be firing on. Let's not waste their, their firepower. He's dead, which is their captain, I think. Okay, most of these guys are fleeing now. Which is great. They're attacking. All you guys on these cavalry. Everyone seems to be fleeing, which is great. You guys get on those cavalry. And then we'll try and get into formation before this really wide, really wide Carthaginian army comes over. They're all routing. Great. I want to get some of them down, but I don't want them to get tired and... We still have to fight these guys. So not all of them are dead. They're going to go back into the city. But this all makes things easier for us later on when we go for Lily Biome. Let's get into formation here. Speed this up. So who was dead then? Their captain, I believe. Yep, Captain Carporophorus or something. So this is... Well, it's gone well so far. We're only 1% of us have been killed and 14% of them have been killed. The Iberian infantry didn't hold out particularly well against our guys, which is good. That is good at least. So yeah, the ultimate plan is essentially take Lily Byam, then retrain the units that have been suffered here in Lily Byam, and then everyone on the island of Sicily, the good units obviously, can then attack Croton and Dermon or whatever assessments the Brutai have. That's the plan, but let's focus on this first as the Carthaginians move slightly forward. 
wide, wide line. But it's alright. It's alright. We'll let them do the running. And they're coming at us pretty slowly. Okay, in a second we'll be ready to charge. Right, I'm worried about those guys getting flanked, so let's just bring that cavalry round here. Yeah, I'm worried about these hot flights getting flanked. That's what they're trying to do, I think. And then you two can just go around here, because I think they're going to flank. Okay, now it's time to charge. So, I don't want, these, I don't want them to charge because they're going to get flanked, but these guys can. So, skirmishers, they're screwed. Well, they're going to run away. Slingers, they're going to run away. You get on the Iberian infantry, everyone on the infantry. There, are, there is more infantry than we've got. Slingers can go for those infantry. You can go for, where's their general? Have they got a general? Then they do actually. So just I don't know, just go for whoever you want. You can fire at will. In fact, the slingers can fire at will as well. These cavalry needs to get around the flanks. But all of them do. Let's do this. Okay, so this, some of them seem to be running back, which is odd. You guys come around here. And let's see what's going on. These guys are going to charge into the Noble Cavalry. So you guys come over here. You guys run as quickly as you can. Now run into them. Do you really want that fight? Do you really want that fight? Obviously you guys come here. Okay, those Noble Cavalry might get a bit battered. But look at all that. I've just turned around and all of them are routing, which is nice. Really good to see. They've got a good charge in there, so the Barbarian Cavalry, they're screwed. They're screwed. And these guys are over here for some reason, so you get over there. So hunt all your men down. Hunt all these men down. Okay, that unit might beat those two units, I'm not sure, because they've got into a wedge, which is weird. I don't like the wedge. Right, everyone get onto these skirmishers. Okay, two units seem to be doing nothing, and the general's fighting. I'm not sure what's going on. So, you do what you want. You can skirmish and just, you know, you do what you want. And you can skirmish as well, just attack anyone on sight. The general is over here in a slight mess. Oh, no, you can... Okay, so they, these guys actually won. You guys just attack. Okay, it's gone very, very well. We're going to win this. And this was just a matter of having the better infantry, to be honest. At the end of the day, we had the better infantry... And that's why we won. Now there is... Okay, that unit collapsed. There is still some... The hoplites collapsed. The general's bodyguard. Right, if we can get the general, that'd be great. And he's not routed yet, so we kind of need to anyway. 32 of them. You guys. Plus you guys. All charge the general. Let's go. We'll try and get that general down before he causes any havoc for us again. He's slightly surrounded. He's very surrounded. Hopefully he'll break in a second, and then when he breaks, he's gone for... Yep, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Or he will be dead in a second, hopefully. Yep, there you go. Right, all you guys, just attack these people. Yeah, this has gone very, very well. Very well. Let's have a look at how many people... So, 17% of us died, 75% of them died, and they had a lot more troops. The Carthaginian de uh, general is dead. You can chase these skirm on oh, no, light infantry. Yeah, this has gone very, very well. I'm happy with this. Slingers. Oh, you could have chased someone down. Oh, well. So we'll fast forward this. Yeah, of course it is victory. Like and we'll just try and kill as many Carthaginians as we can. But yeah, this is a nice way to probably end the episode. I imagine this will be near the end of the episode. It's been, again, another up and down video. We have too many enemies, so the diplomacy side needs to be sorted out. We need to sue for peace. But, yeah, the main threat, I think, is actually the Spanish. So, clear victory. I I think that's a very, very good victory, indeed. Because they had more troops, and I think maybe we had the better troops, but, yeah, we, they certainly had more troops. 1,000 kills. Lily Byam is not ours yet, I don't think, because we didn't take enough of them. We didn't take enough of the troops down, but it should be relatively easy taking the city now. Oh, no, we have got Lily Byam. Excellent. Really, really good. And we'll exterminate them. 10,000 denarii, lots of dead Carthaginians. 
if the game doesn't lag. Okay, so as you possibly saw, the game kind of screwed me over because it crashed just as I was exterminating the populace of Lily Byam. So I didn't get the victory because, yeah, the game's just, it doesn't very rarely, but it crashed. So I'm going to have to auto resolve this because I can't be asked to do that all over again. Uh, I'm praying I get a victory. Yeah, it's really annoying. I'm not going to do as well as they did the first time because it's an auto resolve, but that's something I have to deal with. So it was a victory. Killed 600 men. But we don't get the city. We killed about half the men that I did. It's really, ah, uh, it's frustrating. I did that all for nothing. But at least I proved on camera that I would have beaten them. So, we'll auto-resolve it again. And hopefully we'll take clearly by them. We have the rams and stuff. You can see that some of our units are depleted. So, yeah, easy victory, I'm sure. Clear victory. Okay. At least we've taken clearly by them. It was a sort of a convoluted route. And we lost more men than we needed to. But look at that. 10,000 denarii. A lot of dead Carthaginians and the island of Sicily is ours. What I have just noticed is the Sicilian, sorry, the Scipii are back. Gaius the Harsh with a massive army. So the fight against us, okay, the fight on Sicily is not over yet. End of turn report, retinue expands of Meridoc. So, Masana is in a bit of trouble. As you can see, he's just about to besiege it. Syracuse is in trouble because of its morale. So we need to get this force over to Masana quickly. But I do need to retrain these troops. So let's retrain as many as quickly as possible. You know, it's annoying, but we are going to have to retrain these guys. And then they'll have to get from Lilybaim to Masana as quickly as possible. So Masana needs to. Don't care about the stables. Get some swordsmen. Syracuse needs to recruit some of those nice cavalry, I think, possibly. Yeah, let's get those nice cavalry in. I like them. Lily Byam. I tell you what, rather than do that, we'll cancel all that. They can recruit a nice bit of cavalry. Retrain all of these guys. Don't retrain, don't retrain those. It's not worth it. Retrain everyone here. And then we'll get over to that area. So, have a look at this army of Gaius the Harsh. General, I can't see what it is, but it looks like a decent pre marine army. So, we now have a massive fight against the Scipio to deal with. Capua is less defended, though, so if we take these guys out, Capua hopefully will be ours. That'll be really nice. So, that'll be next time. Yeah, incredibly annoying that situation. And it, of course, we, we wasted the turn. You know taking Lily by when we didn't need to, but there you go, that happens sometimes. We'll have to, yeah. As for Lily Byam, in terms of construction, however, repairing the walls is an obvious one. We need to tear down some temples and stuff, don't want the shrine to fall, even if their morale is low. So, turn the tax rate down, and then the Hall of Heroes would be nice, but I don't think we're going to do a lot of recruiting. What would be better is possibly a port, Weapons fits nice. Um, let's get land clearance first, though. That's a basic, basic thing. So, next time... Look at that. The Brutu, I took a settlement. What do they take? Mediolanum. I swear that was ours. That was ours. This is ridiculous. They're taking settlements without me even knowing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, the Brutu, I've taken Mediolanum. But it's completely ungarrisoned. Yes! How odd. How very odd. Okay, so, well, Vesuchius is coming over anyway. So he can take Mediolanum, I suppose. Yeah, I think what they've done... <laughs> this is odd. I don't think what they've done is they've bribed Mediolanum. Oh, no, he was meant to be heading down here to face the Spanish, wasn't he? Damn it. Okay. If he went over there now, he's, he's not going to get there in time. Right, he might as well go for Mediolanum. Flipping hell. I need to concentrate a bit more. Yeah, they've, they've bribed Mediolanum that have an army nearby, so hopefully we can just draw back in and take it. That's really weird. As for the situation in Spain, Narbo Monks has three warband. These guys have three warband. We have some swordsmen. So that's seven units against three, six, nine, ten units. And they've already built two rams. 
My goodness, this situation is getting a bit desperate. We could attack them right now, but this is a waste of time, isn't it, really? They're not they're not gonna be able to do much. Swordsmen need to join the swordsmen can't even travel that far. No more moves. Orders. Alright, we're in a dangerous situation. But there's not a lot we can do about it. And these Spaniards are strong, aren't they? I do I do worry. Right, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut my losses. Instead of losing these guys, I'm gonna let Narbo Martis fall. Obviously I'll try and defend it, but we're not gonna be able to. You guys all move into Massilia and we'll build an army from Massilia to take Narbo Martis. I've gotta cut my losses in this situation. Spain are doing too well. And instead, what we'll do is we'll recruit in Massilia. So yes. these guys can move down next turn. We can recruit in Massilia. Swordsman, which is good. These guys are going to be key to taking down Narbo Martius. As for Lugdunum, can you retrain? Yes, you can, retra you can recruit a diplomat and then recruit swordsmen. Yeah, we're going to go hard for Narbo Martius soon. So, essentially, we are at war with too many people. I want to get peace with the Spanish after we take Narbo Martius back. Well, we've not lost it yet, but let's be honest, it's inevitable. Yeah, I'm very, very worried about some of the situations, but some of the situations are very good as well. For example, we've got Sicily. But then <laughs> we might lose Masana. So we're going to have a difficult couple of fights. But next time we'll have a big, big fight against the Scipii. And then I'm praying we win because then we can go for Capua. And then we're really getting towards a good situation. Additionally, we'll try and rectify the situation up in the north of Italy. We are recruiting in Aretium and Araminum. That's a big army. Where's that? Just outside of Aretium. My goodness, it's difficult fighting the Romans, isn't it? So Aretium needs to recruit swordsman because there is a big army of the Bruti which I accidentally clicked on and I kind of I'm kind of glad I did because we've just noticed there is a big big Bruti army coming over so swordsmen are required and plenty of them oh, Haraminum has a lack of population so we need to lower the tax rate slightly because we can't recruit swordsmen Yeah, alright then. So, this is going to be all for this episode. It's been a complicated, difficult episode. We're in a tough situation, but I'm determined. And it's been good entertainment, that's for sure. But yeah, as I say, some big fights coming up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around.